Far beneath the wind and the waves of the surface ocean is a vast, cold, dark habitat bearing crushing pressures. Although the deep sea was once thought to be relatively devoid of life, technology has enabled us to see that it teems with many hungry creatures. This hungry Humboldt squid is a lightning-fast hunter, quickly capturing this smaller, unsuspecting squid in its long arms. This undescribed species is known as the galaxy siphonophore, and it puts out long curtains of tentacles and sits and waits to see who swims into their stinging grasp. This incredible angler is fishing for its dinner, reeling out a specialized lure with a light at the end in hopes of landing the catch of the day. As you can see, even more than humans, deep sea animals conceal some funky feeding habits. Given the diversity of ravenous predators lurking in the deep, there's an exciting feeding frenzy for scientists to uncover. One must eat or be eaten. Figuring out who eats whom is no easy feat. Scientists usually look into the stomachs of animals to figure out their most recent meals. This takes a lot of effort and only works for certain kinds of foods that aren't quickly digested. While very valuable, gut contents can miss the stunning complexity of interactions taking place in the deep. Scientists at the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute have been conducting deep dives off the central California coast for 30 years using remotely operated vehicles, or ROVs, to observe and record these feeding events. Our findings reveal an intricate network of animals feasting upon one another from the surface to as deep as 4,000 meters. Food webs support all life in the sea, tracing the flow of energy through predators and prey. Each animal occupies a unique part of the food web, and as these animals feed on one another, grow, and have babies of their own, they eventually support the top predators, like tuna and bellfish, that end up on our dinner plates. Using this one-of-a-kind data set of animals caught in the act of feeding or having just fed, we've learned that abundant but very rarely studied gelatinous animals may be predators as important as large fish and squid in the deep. Jellies are not dietary dead ends, but in fact, eat and are eaten by more familiar fishes, crustaceans, squids, and by each other. Every time we dive beneath the waves, we learn new things about the biggest habitat on Earth. So, the next time you sit down for a meal and find that your eyes are bigger than your stomach, think about the hungry critters dining in the deep. This is Anella Troy of the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute.